So these, this is a this is a honeybee that is not here for the water at this moment. The water they get either from these little gutters that are filled with water, because a lot of those have water, and they climb in there and they take the water and then they leave. But the the bees that are that are attracted to these this grow media are grazing. And the grazing on this in these sections that have most of this algae on the surface. And what they're in all likelihood they're 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 getting most of is bacteria. Maybe they're going for the nutrients, but they're getting bacteria, lots of it. Because this whole this whole film of of uh, organic matter on the surface here is is a biofilm of bacteria highly proteinaceous and um, and and nutritious but there's a lot of bacteria that might be useful for the for the intestines of the honeybee uh, particularly if GMOs and the uh, uh, pesticides that are used on on plants are killing the normal bacteria that populate their gut we all depend on probiotics and microbacteria or, or bacteria throughout the, the digestive tract to, to aid in our digestion as like the honeybees require that for their honey processing as far as I understand but certainly their their health and their livelihood and their vitality they need bacteria and if it's getting depleted by their by the agriculture industry then uh, this kind of is a sort of an important message for us to sort of maybe focus more on what are they here for? Why are they? What is it they like about this spot that's keeping them here continuously, day in and day out, dozens at a time, all day long? So they're getting something from this from this media, and that deserves, I think, a lot of awareness. So anyway, I'm sharing this. Hopefully uh, um, this will maybe spark some uh, greater consideration in the sort of the health management of bees.